So after the video of the five flip cup pour, I decided to get the strainer out and do some more experimenting with it. And as you see, I started and I thought, well, maybe I should film this. So this is what we're going to do. I um, mixed up the rainbow colors. And so far, it is really looking pretty. starting to come out now the other colors And the deep purple is at the very end. I haven't added any white or black around the edges. I wanted to wait and see what this little experiment here would do first. And I can always add the white and the black. That in itself is going to be another experiment. The paint is moving slower because it's thicker this time. I'm going to lift this up now. Let's see what happened underneath. Good. Almost looks like an Easter egg. I could put some of the greens and the blues, the yellows and the oranges around the outside of it. With maybe some of the purple here and there. It's almost there. There we go. Okay, now I'm going to turn it the other way. I want it to go back.
So, this is what we have. Move the camera down real close so you can see. This is really pretty. I'm not sure what to do about the outside of it though. Hmm. Let's see here. Let's move that back. Got some wet paint in front of it. All right, what can we do? I'm going to get another cup. And add some of these colors to it. Let's see, yellow. Orange. Light green. Oh, someone mentioned I needed gloves. Um, I have gloves. I just don't like to wear them. And I clean up pretty good so it doesn't bother me having paint on my fingers. I'll wipe them off with a towel or paper towel. Okay, just about there. I'm not going to put any purple in this cup. The purple's pretty dominant in the metal. So I think what I'll do here is pour around this. Hopefully I can get the multicolors and have this in the area here keep its shape. Uh, I really like the shape of it. So, cross your fingers, that's what's going to happen, hopefully. So, and since, I wonder if I should use a strainer. That would be interesting. I could hold the strainer and pour around it. That way I could get the multicolor in there instead of one color pour out after the other. I think that's what I'll do. Clean this up a little bit. Some of the see it's kind of the colors are kind of muddy. So I'm gonna wipe them off at the bottom. There. That's pretty clean. Now here goes. I think I will start at the top here and go down and come back up. Huh. Let's see. 
just seeing how this works. Bring it up here. Colors are almost getting muddy. But if you don't try something, you don't know how it's going to work, right? And that's one thing about experimenting. You get all these ideas in your head and you're like, oh, I wonder what that would do. I wonder what this would do. So the fun part of it is, is doing it and finding out what works and what doesn't work. I'm going to Bring the canvas down this way, tilt it a little bit. Really don't want to mess up the shape of our design in the middle. Run it off the bottom a little bit. That'll help bring that color down. Good. I think I got that corner covered. Got a little space in here. Okay. Now we need to get this side. And I could have could have put more paint on the canvas. messing with our design in the middle. Really want this side to go over the canvas. So it back this way because it's starting to mess up our design and I don't want it I don't want that messed up bring it back down this way
think I'll cover in the rest of it with some white. Let the white do itself, do its thing. And a little bit of white here. Some white here, some white over here, So, let's see, I'm going to cover these edges real good with the white. That doesn't bother me at all that um, it didn't all flow over the color. I kind of like it with a little bit of white in there. It um, brings life to it, but um, yeah, overall I'm pleased with that. So this is what happened with thicker paint, less of an angle on this, this canvas, and pouring from a strainer to the top. And this was our top. Let me turn this around. There we go. That's our top. Anyway, thanks for watching. And um, I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.